morning. It is 9:23. I'm off to class right now. I just I just stopped by Kroger and got some Starbucks. I, re I really need some. I need I needed some caffeine this morning. I'm exhausted right now. But yes, uh, I'm up, like I said, I'm off to class. I have, uh, I have yeah, I got three classes today. From this one starts at 9:40, and then my last one ends at 2:25. So I'm gonna be on campus the majority of the day. I'm kind of rushing right now because by the time I get there and park and everything, it's gonna be about like 9:35 or something. So yeah, I'm late. But all right, speed there, and then I'll I'll check in with y'all later. Oh yeah, from Starbucks was I just got an iced coffee, uh, black, and then I added two packets of sweet and low and one Splenda. What's up guys, just finished up at the gym. It is a 401 right now. I just had a chest and tri workout and I had a good, that was a good workout. That was a good one. So right now I plan on going home and making some food because I am starving. I've had one meal today and that was at about 1.30 and that's all I've had so I'm, I'm pretty hungry. So I'm about to drive home, cook some food and then I'm gonna come back here today because I still have to do my cardio session because I just had my workout and it's still early in the day because usually I'm working out like about like seven or eight so I just get the cardio done with then but since it's only four right now I just had an extended workout and then I'm gonna go back and do cardio later go home get some food in my system and that way I can have a good cardio session and not just be on the Stairmaster or whatever I do just all fatigued and whatnot but all right, I'm gonna make this drive home. What is up guys, coming at you with another commentary going over my chest and tri workout we did today. Starting off with some cable chest flies. This, this workout I'm doing right here will work out your lower mid and the top of your chest. I started out with this so I could get an all around warm up for my chest. So I have this at about mid level, the little pulleys. It's on, uh, it was on 14. We're doing four sets of 10. So what I do is I bring it up and when my hand touches, I bring it I bring it up to the top of my head so right there as my hands touch I bring it up this will work out your lower mid and the top of your chest great start and workout just to get a nice warm-up going um, before we get too far into this my phone did get to like 2% so I only got five workouts I did do bench press after this but I did not get it so next I believe we have what do we have next we did some dumbbell presses so with this I did four sets but I went up and weight each time. I did four sets of 12, I did it's 12, uh, 10, eight, and six. So you start out with the, light, with the lighter weight and you do 12 reps. Then you do your next set, you go up and weight, you do 10 reps. Then the next set you go up again, you do eight, then you go up and you do six. So as you see, I'm doing, I'm going, I'm nice and controlled right now. I'm coming down and I'm coming up. I'm not going too wide. I'm not shaking yet just starting with I started with 60 pounds and then I think I got up to about 75 so yes one more time you go up each set starting at 12 10 8 and 6 so I wish I would have got more footage just my phone uh, I hate recording on a phone sometimes it makes it so difficult and then I, I have to lean it on my water bottle it just it's a struggle sometimes so what do we have next next we have I think we have yeah, I did bent over tricep extensions. I used uh, 20 pounds if I ever come into the screen, there I am. So you just want to lean forward and you want to bring, it's, it's almost like a hammer curl, but it's not. It's just when you come back, you want to make sure you really squeeze your triceps together. So you want to make sure it's like, you like stick it, I guess you say. So I come back and I'll try to hold it for a second. Just you want to get the full extension and not just come back like you don't want your elbows <clears throat> excuse me you don't want your elbows to still be bent you want to come you want to make sure your arms come all the way when they've come back that they're completely straight and that's where you get a full stretch of the tricep and when you come up you don't want to come up too far because then it kind of turns into a hammer curl or a, and you don't you don't want that right now and then next I, we did the I, I went over to the chest press machine this is uh, for incline. Uh, I did four sets of 
I believe eight on this. I did 225. I went a little heavy since it was getting to like close to the end of my workout. But yes, I had a really good workout today. I'm enjoying this whole experience right now. It's just something new to me to be able to challenge myself like this and to let you all follow along and to give you my workout footage and everything. It's a, it's so exciting right now. And like, what's what's really great about this is like I'm in it. Oh yeah, I did a, I did a drop set on this. So that's why I completely forgot. So it's four sets of eight with a drop set each set. So after you you complete your set of eight, drop the weight down and then go till failure. Just don't stop, just keep going until you literally cannot do another one. But like I was saying guys, like I'm enjoying this experience so much. It's, it's, been, it's like a blast already. It's, it's hard, but it's just with just doing things like this and just getting the views and the, the likes, like it's not a lot, but it just, like I said in my last video, it just, it really motivates me and keeps me going. And then I believe this might be the last workout that I got on my camera. Um, it was a, the chest fly machine. We did four sets of 10 on this. And then as you'll see on when I hit number 10, I hold the last rep for 10 seconds. So make sure when you do this, elbows slightly bent. Don't straighten your arms because then that works your shoulder. And if you're going heavy, you could really mess up your shoulder that way. All right, guys, and that's going to complete my chest workout. Like I said, I did bench press, so make sure you do four sets of 10 on the bench press. And now I will talk about cheat days and refeed days. What are the differences, similarities, which one should you do, and when should you have them? All right, enjoy the rest of the video, and thank you guys so much for watching. All right, so I wanted to talk about a refeed and a cheat day. The similarities and when to have them if you do okay so to start with what is a cheat day a cheat day is where you go out and you literally eat whatever you feel like eating there's no limitation if you want a cheeseburger you eat a cheeseburger if you want some ice cream you have some ice cream whatever sounds good to you you eat and then you have a refeed day where you, it's a strategy you strategize how much you're going how much you're going to eat um, and it's usually which what it is is you increase your carb intake by at least 50% so say um, My normal carb intake every day is 200 grams. So I decided to have a refeed and With 50 I had 50% to that it would be a hundred grams. So a total of 300 grams of carbs so When when do you what what's the difference? Well, like I said um, You don't re a cheat day a cheat a cheat Cheat days are bad. Cheat days will ruin your diet easily um, because, you're, like I said, there's no limitations. You could really, just depending how much you indulge in, you could eat a surplus of a thousand calories. You could eat a surplus of two thousand calories. Whereas the cheat, I mean, a refeed day isn't going to be but more than maybe like at, at least a little, at least a thousand calories, if that. So because you could really mess your diet up on a cheat day because there's no limitations to it when do you have a refeed day um picture your muscles like like a towel that a towel absorbing water each time each time you you eat carbs your muscles soak up those carbs in, into glycogen and it, it gives that's why like if you eat a lot if you eat a lot of carbs you feel full because your muscle soaks that in so now take that towel and wring it out and wring the water out. That's what, when every time you work out or you just, you live just spontaneous movement, your body burns glycogen for energy, you're just like wringing that towel out and you, you're eventually going to deplete your source. Um, I have, I have refeed, I have refeed days anywhere from really about every, I have one every two weeks, but that is different for some people. Some people might need one every week. You really just have to go off your body and how you feel because if your workouts start getting start getting sloppy, you feel fatigued all the time, sleep you can't you can't wake up in the morning because you don't have energy. It's just all those factor in to you depleting your glycogen store. So that's when it's time to you know, hey, have a refeed day, replenish your glycogen stores. And get back in the gym and get back to work. 
I'd recommend, I'd totally recommend going the refeed days just because it's still complex carbs. You have, you're just eating more rice, you're eating more sweet potatoes, you're eating more whole grains, and you're not out eating ice cream or a burger or going to Chili's and getting the, the damn, the two for 20, but you eat both. And cause that, that's what people do on cheat days. And it just really, you could really mess up your diet. You're taking all these steps forward to lose this weight but then you take five steps back the moment you go and indulge in all that and it's not worth it it just if it, you will a lot of because you gain weight you'll gain a lot of weight but it's your body just holding on to water also so you will eventually come down and you'll stabilize again it just it it, it adds and it's going to add an extra like few days for that to happen though instead of just having the refeed day you can get right back on track within two days whereas a cheat day one bad cheat day could take maybe a whole week to get back on track just depending on how bad or how how much you go out on this food so what do you do if you have a cheat day nothing don't do anything because a lot of people when they have a cheat day and they eat the surplus of calories they'll now starve the next day to compensate for the calories that they took in yesterday don't do that just put that cheat day in the back of your mind Eat your daily macro intake that you already have and just get right back on track. Act like that never happened and don't think about it. Just move on. It's already It already happened. So, so I just wanted to talk about a cheat day and a refeed day, the difference, what it's like, what to do. If you have a cheat day, just don't have cheat days. Keep it simple. Have refeed days. You, you can still have, have, you have, you can have a cheat meal on a refeed day, like where you just have one good meal. A lot of people do that. I do that sometimes. You don't have to just have a cheat day where you eat whatever. Just go out, have some ice cream, because you still have to live too. Is you have to have, you have to find that balance because you can't just starve yourself of all these foods that you want to eat. Because when you have the cheat day, if you if you if you actually mess around and have the cheat day, you you you've been so strict on your diet that you haven't been taking in these foods in maybe over a few weeks. So you're gonna indulge in them a lot more. So. Have your refeed. That's my opinion on cheat days and refeed days. I just wanted to go over that real quick because I see that pop up a lot. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. I just wanted to talk about that. Thanks, guys. All right, so we just got back from the gym. It is 10:17. Just finished up my cardio session. 30 minutes on the stairmaster, as you just saw. Now I'm cooking up food because I'm starving. Uh, this is going like my third meal today. I haven't had, I haven't really had much time to eat. But right here, I have my white rice, my broccoli and cheese, and I have the chicken on the grill right now. I was cooking on the foreman. It's almost ready, and I cannot wait. But that's gonna be it for this video. Cause after this, I'm gonna just go upstairs. Eat my food, edit this video so it can be up for tomorrow morning, and get some sleep because we get to do it all again tomorrow. And that's gonna be it. Hopefully, we have I weighed exactly 216, but I felt kind of heavy this morning. So hopefully tomorrow when I wake up, we can have a new low weigh-in. I'm trying to get back in the 214s and actually be right this time instead of like last week, where for some reason I dropped four pounds overnight. Don't know why, but. I'm hoping we have a new little way in tomorrow. Stay on track because we're now into week two of this and I'm just so excited to keep doing this. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below with anything. Make sure you put a nice thumbs up for me. And thank you all so much again for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode. Bye.